All right, guys, let's get right into this. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is go to audio MIDI setup. I'm guessing you've already done this, but if you haven't, this is how you get your main outs uh, set up with console. Go to output. From there, you're going to go to configure speakers. Click on that. And I already have mine set up for virtual. My left speaker is virtual one. My right speaker is virtual two. Hit apply. In my case, I'm done. So I'm just going to hit done. I'm going to close this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the console app, open that up, and then I'm going to go to settings. Once you go to settings, you're going to get this window. In this window, if you look down here, you're going to see virtual one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Now, I have my virtual one as my left speaker and virtual two. So what I can do is I can send logic to virtual three and four. Now here it says that 21 and 22 are virtual three and four, but in my case, it's not accurate. And I had to do some trial and error, but I got it. Okay, so now with this in mind, let's go back to Logic. Go to Mix right here. Click on that. Then you're gonna go down to where it says IO Assignments. Click on IO Assignments. Okay, now you're gonna see that stereo output is at 23 and 24. Now, if you click on this, you'll see the different outputs. Okay, now 19 and 20 is supposed to be virtual one. 21, 22, two, two, I mean, this is supposed to be virtual one and two. This is supposed to be three and four. In my case, for some weird reason, 23 and 24 is virtual three and four. So 23 and 24, right? That's what I'm doing there. You may have to do some trial and error. Close this window. Now, if I hit, if I open up the console app and I hit play, I'm going to click right here where it says logic. And I'm going to unlink this. Now you'll see virtual four. So obviously this is virtual three. So see, I'm able to control logic. I'm able to control logic separately. Now, now let me give you another example. I'm going to go back to logic. I'm going to my click. I'm going to hold control, click on the, the, um, the click or the metronome, metronome settings. And then in output, I'm going to put my click at 25, 26. Again, you're going to have to do some trial and error because the, the numbers don't match up, but they're close. So 25, 26. Okay. Now I'm going to mute this and I'm going to turn on the click. And now you're going to see that I can send just click to the console app. Look at that. See? So now I'm able to do Mac only. So the one that says Mac, the only thing that comes out of here is uh, YouTube, anything from any website. This here only sends logic stuff. And this here only sends the click. All right. So guys, again, just go here, go to settings right here in the console app. Find out where your virtual channels are and then route them accordingly. Hopefully this helps. If not, hit me up in the comments, man, um, or you can just shoot me an email at mr.oaudio at gmail.com. Once again, thank you for watching another tutorial. See you on the next one.